Hey guys, back with another COL video and today the long awaited gold making guide update video is here. I will be telling you guys how you guys can make gold, uh, how I make my gold and help you guys probably get your legendaries or whatever you want to increase your gear score and your stats. So let's start off with the simplest and easiest part. So it's the dailies. You do your dailies every day, supply delivery gives you gold. Daily activity gives you a thousand gold or to ten thousand gold if you're lucky. You know, trial quest gives you gold. Just the daily stuff, guys. It gives you gold. A lunarian quest can have a chance to give you some items, like uh, which can save you gold. So here are the basic stuff. All right, now let's get into what can really make you some gold because that's you don't make much gold from that. Now you have blueprints, the most important thing. Level 30, 39 blueprints. They're very scarce right now, you know, they're not selling much, uh, cause, I mean, they're, they're selling very high, they're selling a lot because they're not much on the market, like it's not even any mistake glove blueprint. Now how can you get those still? So if you are level 55, you know you can't get them from raids anymore, but here's the thing, wall boss and ruler gives you the blueprints. Now if you have done all of your wall boss and rulers, right? You still do them, you won't get the token, but you will get a chest. Every boss, uh, ruler and world boss will give you a chest. Inside them you will most likely get a blueprint level 30, which you can sell for gold. So doing one lord and one world boss a day gets you two blueprints. If you sell them, let's say you get like mystic blueprints, right? Maybe you get like pants, blueprints, you know, 1500 each, 3k right there. Or helmet, 2k to 2.5. Gloves 3k gold, you know, easy, easy 6k gold just by doing two wall bosses a day, one ruler, one wall boss. Very nice way to make gold. Now, if you want to put in extra work, guys, you know, you want to put in extra work, you can always make an alt, okay, an extra tune, and you can level it up to 30 and uh, keep it under 49. You run normal raids like this, altar, dire, scar, exactly, etc., and then. You will drop your blueprints right there, level 30 to 39, and you can sell them for gold, easy 10k gold, almost a day if you get lucky. And then you can some try to transfer it to your main by selling some useless stuff. It's always a way to transfer gold uh, by selling some items that is not worth much. This game doesn't allow you to transfer a lot of gold, but there are small ways to always transfer gold. So if you want to work the extra, extra hard, you can do that, and always. You're asking probably, how can I keep my alt level under 49? It's very simple. Just keep spending your experience you get on paths so that way you won't level up. So that was with the blueprints. Now let's go to lords, all right? Lords is how I make most of my gold because I do very hard lords and so they drop high blueprints. Look at this, 100k per blueprints, crazy, right? Now it doesn't, you don't have to do the hardest one like this is from Ordeal, all right, and Savage. If you do Ordeal and Savage Lords high tier, you have a chance to drop these, and they go for a lot of gold. 60 to 100k gold, if you get lucky in a day, boom, 200k gold, just from that. You know, it's crazy. A lot of gold, Trying if you do even harder lately. ones, even more. But even if you can't do Ordeal, if you do Hell Lords, or you can't do Savage, if you do Hell Lords, still a lot of gold, guys. You know, 12 to 20k, and sometimes they, they're not, uh, there's only one blueprint and you can sell for 20k, 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 40k gold a day just from doing lords if you get lucky of course. So you see there's many ways to make gold. Now your stamina of course, mining because fishing is here right? So everyone is fishing, selling fishes, fishes goes for a lot. I'll make a fishing guide soon but like look at this alright you buy this. 10k gold you know if you're fishing you make a lot of gold like this you know you can sell these fishes same with cooking if you're selling any cooking you see this if I sell mine for example let me sell this six seven point six six point seven K from my stamina per per buff you know I'm selling a little 40 blueprint I got from Guild Wars you can sell meteorite or you got from Lords you know, you get gold here, gold there, gold here, gold there. It's very effective, guys. Very effective to get gold uh, from this. Now, another way is, you know, you can't trade silver for gold, right? But uh, there are other ways. Like, let, let me show you guys, all right? 
uh, when you have daily loot, if you do a hundred activity points a day, all right, you can get daily loot like this. They will give you crystals. You can trade crystals for more crystals. When you have crystals, you can sell those crystals for, you know, a price. Let's say 50, sell them for 200, you get 50 crystals maybe. You can sell them 10k gold right there. Or what you also could do, try to get lucky, is you can buy, where is it? You can buy Starlight Stone, let's buy one, all right? Starlight Stone, boom. I got a Swift Net Lens for six crystals, all right? I was lucky. I can sell this for 7.5k gold or more. You see 9k? If you get an agility one, say agility lens, 12k right there. Six crystals, 12k gold if you get lucky. Boom, you make gold there too, you see? There's so many ways to make gold. Uh, small ways. Now, other things you can do is survival. It's do your survival every single day because even if you place top 25 or 30 or whatever, you can get delicate mask. And what can you do with delicate mask? Let me show you guys. Let me show you what you can do with delicate masks. Now, you'll get delicate mask, and this is almost guaranteed. Go. Oh no, I walked to the wrong spot. Where is it? It's here, right? I think it's here. But what delicate masks do is you can get delicate masks, all right? You can trade them in in this vendor right here. Let's go to the vendor. All right, you go to the vendor. I think it's this chick. Yeah, this chick right here, all right? She, you buy this, it will always, I'm telling you guys, almost guaranteed getting 8K to 25K gold from this. Almost guaranteed, all right? Getting, doing survival, getting lucky. Sometimes you even get five masks, you trade in for this, you can get 10 masks. You get 100 masks if you're extra lucky. And they can even contain legendaries. And legendaries, you know, you can sell legendaries and boom, you have a lot of gold. But do your survival, you will get, the, I promise you guys, in one week, you will 100% get delicate masks from one of the 14 boxes you will get, all right? All you have to do is just stay hidden. If you're not good at survival, doesn't matter. Do survival, hide somewhere, get top 30. You'll get, you, you will still have a chance to get delicate mask, all right? So don't worry about it. So that's my main ways to get gold, guys. That's how I make my gold, is through that. Now also, by logging in daily, getting pro prosperous gifts, you can get butter beer. You can do the exact same thing. You can trade it in. Uh, for gold again all these small ways guys you can get if you get lucky I know a lot of things depends on getting lucky RNG but if you keep doing this every day keep repeating this every day you will get lucky eventually all right you will get a blueprint you will get uh, uh, masks you know that so that this is these are my ways now if you're not fishing guys all right a lot of people are fishing you see everywhere here people are fishing now if you're not fishing what you could be doing is mining because everyone is fishing, right? Everyone's busy fishing and cooking and using stamina there. Not many people are crafting the materials needed to craft gear like nails, mithril nails, iron nails, uh, cloth, cotton cloth, you know? And that's why there's not a lot of them in the auction so you can sell them at max price and make gold from there. Now easily, if you do get lucky throughout the day guys and if you do hard lords, you can make anywhere from 100k gold a day. If you're really lucky, you know. If, but if you're not lucky, you will. I will tell you guys, you'll make easily 30k gold a day. It's not an issue, and you can save up to your legendaries in t 10 days. But now, let me show you guys right here. Where is it? Mm, plant or materials right here? Nails right here. You see? Three pages of this. It's usually less. I guess people are back to my. Like, look, look at this. 18 cloth. For 4k gold, like, I think you can make 99 and then, you know, you're making a bunch of gold, like 20k gold just from that. So you can easily make over 30k gold a day, guys, if you try. Of course, do your supply delivery like I'm doing right now. So, guys, that's my mainly guide for gold making, alright? If you have any questions, ask me below in the comments. Uh, if you haven't, if you want to watch my old, uh, old gold making guide video, just search for it. I will try, uh put a link for it in the end of this video so keep watching and that's my guide on making gold that's how I make my gold that's how I got my legendaries I did not spend I spent a fair deal on this tune 
But mostly it comes from grinding, guys. So if you want to get your first legendary, that's how you want to do it. You want to grind, you want to buy it from the... There's no re reason to craft blueprints anymore. Just sell them, save up for your legendaries, and then you can catch up, guys, alright? That's my guide. I hope this was helpful. Please comment below again if any questions, and like and subscribe if you haven't. And I see you guys in the next video, guys.